Understanding these gifts of evolution have chosen to meet them with persecution and death. There are those mutants that agree with the humans that this world is too small for both species and that one shall, by necessity, be forever stricken from the face of the earth. I believe in an alternative, a world wherein man and mutant coexist in peace. They're providing a much needed balance to an all too fragile world. To that end, I have assembled those men and women willing to fight for their peace, to defend the world that fears and hates them. To that end, I, Professor Charles Xavier, assembled the X-Men. I will go to any lengths to destroy your kind. Your mutant gifts will be used to bring your kind to its knees. Forge has made a weapon like this in the past, has he not? He has. I was the first victim. If those secrets were ever turned against us. Your extinction is now, mutant. Be careful, my children. And good luck. We believe the first step began with the retrieval of the Bastion unit. The Prime Unit Sentinels that were behind the events known as Zero Tolerance were adrift after the defeat of their leader, Bastion. The Prime Sentinels' ability to morph into normal-looking men and women allowed them to infiltrate the facility that Bastion was being held in and retrieve him. unit retrieved, it wasn't long before the Prime Sentinels returned to their primary function, the systematic eradication of all mutant life on Earth. Prior defeat at the hands of the X-Men no doubt dictated a radically different strategy from those employed in Zero Tolerance. Thus, very unusual alliances were formed. I will assume that your presence here indicates that we have an agreement. Let's get on with this. Just being in your presence disgusts me. These defensive positions are months old, which means they are worth next to nothing now. We're not so disgusting that you won't take our money, eh, Mutie? So an arrangement was made. The exact details were unclear, but the one thing that was certain was that none of this would fare well for those of us bearing an X. However, if there is one thing that the X-Men can be counted on to handle, it is adversity.
Cannon primed. You must be a fool to fight me. Plasma coil charged. Excellent team. You are definitely improving in your group maneuvers. Communication, improvisation, anticipation, and trust. Well done, X-Men. Storm, Wolverine, Phoenix, Rogue. You are all just in time. For this next exercise, we will break you up into pairs. The idea of this exercise is to combat an opponent that places you at somewhat of a disadvantage. To claim victory, you will have to improvise, adapt, and eventually overcome. For a better tomorrow. You must enjoy playing with fire. Heart is what wins battles. X-Men, we're under attack. You must be a fool to fight me. Got six reasons for you to walk away. Forge, I'll need you to reconnoiter the rear grounds. The Brotherhood's attack seems too focused, almost like a distraction. Investigate and report back to me. Understood, Charles. Plasma coil charged. with the ability to create any technological device his imagination can conceive of. We are going to create wonderful things together, you and I. The X-Men are sure to mount some form of rescue attempt. Activate the mutagenic displacement field to create false readings of Forge's energy signature. Send them chasing the Brotherhood until we're better prepared for them. And deploy a few Sentinels to each location. I want to assess the X-Men's current fighting strength. 
Global tracking network. Online mutagenic signatures. Brotherhood located. As you can see, whoever abducted Forge knows our technology and methods. The presence of the Brotherhood would indicate that this is Magneto's doing, which fits. Magneto knows us well enough to hamper our pursuit. Therefore, we will need more than one strike team to check each of the signals indicating Forge's presence. Some of you are injured. You will need to stay behind. That will leave only a handful of you for each strike team. Time is of the essence. Forge knows secrets, far too many for us to find him at our leisure. If those secrets were ever turned against us. Be careful, my children, and good luck. Fascinating. You're gonna scream for me. You're quite the pugilist. The X-Men scattered used their myriad skills to the utmost in a race against time. Unbeknownst to us, however, our most salient fears had already begun to unfold. Try to relax, mutant, as I peel and strip your mind like an onion. Very soon I will have everything I need to finally rid the world of your kind. Forge is both Cheyenne Medicine Man and a proven hero. His will is as indomitable as any of his fellow X-Men. Such is the way of heroes. However, even the strongest of men, it is said, have their moments of fatigue. Excellent. The extinction of Homo sapiens superior, mutants, begins now. Fascinating. Here comes the beating of your life! You're quite the pugilist. Whilst the X-Men were engaged in pitch battle against their Brotherhood adversaries, Forger's predicament worsened. Bastion then began to manipulate Forge into creating new weapons, even deadlier upgrades for his legion of Prime Sentinels. The irony is exquisite, isn't it? Your mutant gifts will be used to bring your kind to its knees. This is your true destiny, harbinger of mutant extinction. As precarious as our situation was, I realized there was one thing that could make it worse. Magneto. However, after the tragedy in his former kingdom of Genosha, Magneto had retreated from the world. With all that faced the X-Men already, I counted as fortunate that my one-time friend had not been drawn into the conflict. Humans, your time has come. <laughs> yeah. The battle for the Citadel was furious, but there was no real doubt as to the outcome. The power-dampening technology wielded by the Prime Sentinels proved too much for even the Master of Magnetism to overcome. So he retreated for the moment to gather reinforcements. 
When Magneto's call went out, the scattered members of the Brotherhood began to converge upon the savage lands. Are you certain this is Bastion we're dealing with? It is as I said, woman. There is little time to waste. You idiot. You've brought the X-Men to our very gates. But if we could get them to listen to our side of things... Stop the X-Men quickly, but leave them alive. We will need them for what is to come. Taste my wrath. You could definitely use a woman's touch. Let none stand before my might. Magneto, what the hell is going on? Aren't these Prime Sentinels under your control? Of course they're not. It appears that Bastion, despite all reason, has returned. Bastion? We barely beat him the last time. I'll lay odds that he's the one who took Forge, too. Forge? Yes, it all makes sense now. The Sentinels that drove me from my Citadel had technology designed to strip a mutant of their powers. Forge has made a weapon like this in the past, has he not? He has. I should know. I was the first victim. But the weapon was destroyed, and Forge vowed he would never make another. Not willingly, at any rate. Come, we have much to discuss. All of us. A hasty council of war was convened, consisting of some of the most powerful mutants alive. Their mutual goal, end this new sentinel menace before it ends them. In the coming battle, no quarter would be asked and none given. Nothing short of the very fate of mutant kind hung in the balance. Bastion's scent? <laughs> He's in the upper tower, where the throne room is located. What do you propose? Let's divide our forces into three groups. One group will hunt down and destroy the remaining sentinels. One group will stay here and protect the injured. And one group will go after Bastion. I should be the one to go. We'll send you, Wolverine, Juggernaut, and myself after Bastion. Such was the severity of the situation that no one noticed that Wolverine's wounds from the previous battle had not yet healed. And such is the caliber of the man known as Wolverine that he pressed on, saying nothing at all to the others. Sapiens Superior. Come to take your... what is it again? Ah, yes. Your rightful place as the next step in human evolution. Well, your ascension means the death of mankind. And that is something I will not allow. Where's Forge? The Tinkerer, yes. I thought I would use him to properly motivate you, so... I did something special. Use a mutant to kill a mutant. Or in this case, to kill all mutants. He is resistant, I'll give him that. However, we broke him once, and we shall do so again. 
You're a monster, you know that, Bastion? Am I? What I do, I do to preserve the sanctity of mankind. You, Juggernaut, you're not even a mutant. It is for your species' benefit that I do all of this. I fight my own battles, Tin Man! If anyone's gonna waste the X-Men, it's gonna be me! What the... misguided fool. I did him a favor, actually. He's figured out how the Transmat system works. He could have teleported Juggernaut almost anywhere. Never mind that. A quarter of our strength has been eliminated. Sitting in orbit between the Earth and the Moon lies Asteroid M. It is an artificial asteroid held in place solely by the will of one man, Magneto. To our knowledge, the Transmat system links all of the Master of Magnetism's layers, Earthbound or otherwise. I promise you, this is gonna hurt a lot. Your gifts shall prove ineffective against our technology. Got six reasons for you to walk away. against our technology. Let none stand before my might. When Bastion stole the plans for this device, he did not know that I had modified the design. I vowed that I would never create a weapon of such finality ever again. Armed with this knowledge, the X-Men began treating their friends. For some, it was a reawakening of what they considered a curse. But thankfully, they refused to give up their responsibility and hope for the day when man and mutant will live in peace. In short order, all was well again for the children of the atom. Magneto. There shall be no war today, X-Men. Today, we are all brothers. Phoenix assures me that there was nothing left of Bastion after their confrontation on Asteroid M, and Magneto confirms the same. I cannot help but remain apprehensive, however. Bastion may in fact be gone, but the threat still remains. As long as there are those that will allow their thoughts and actions to be governed by fear and hatred, we will forever be in danger. For that, I am thankful that these brave men and women have joined me in making a stand against the evil, not only in men's actions, but in their hearts and souls, as the X-Men. Sucks! <laughs> 